What's going on guys, it's I right here, today I'm going to show you how to change the static boot logo of the Samsung Galaxy S2 Well, first of all, what's a static boot logo? It's the, it's the um, logo that you see before the animated boot screen So I'm going to show you right now, and it's the first thing you saw when you power up your phone Yes, so this is the uh, static boot logo, so called And uh, I got this Google, <coughs> it's about the stock S2, you got the Samsung Galaxy S2 and your mod model number but never mind this works for um, anyone this method works for anyone with um, those with stock um, stock ROM stock kernel or custom ROM, custom ROM cu custom kernel and um, for, uh, for um, those who have customized if you want to change the um, the uh, static boot logo again yes you may use you have to use this um, way to do it so um, first of all as you can see I've just powered up my phone and um, well you just really need it to be a turn off to access to the Odin mode so um, this requires your phone to be rooted with uh, BGBox installed but no worries we'll, we'll uh, um, install the BGBox later on if you don't have one um, the setup tutorial actually show you how to do it so first of all power off your phones and um, let it um, cool down for like 20 seconds until the lights turn off and we'll further let it go down a little bit so what you need is a USB cable connected to the computer <coughs> I'm going to show you the files that you need so first of all there's a link below and you have to download these files it's called the SGS2 underscore SBSI so it stands for Samsung Galaxy S2 Static Boot Screen Installer so all you need to do is download this file and extract them every single of them into a um, folder where you go inside you got all these files so you gotta flash me first and make sure SGS2 underscore um, custom palm LFS is available so we are first we are going to enter Odin mode by doing this. You can use a USB jig to just uh put into Odin mode or um press hold the volume down home button and the power button. Volume down, power button and the home button. Three of them at once. So you get oops. I'm sorry about that. So you just you can just re if you have um, missed it, you can just remove the battery and do whatsoever. You remove the battery, put in battery, and yep, you're ready to restart again. Make sure everything's popped in. Well, all right. I'm gonna press the power down, home, and power button. Um, volume now, home, power button. Oh. I think I miss it again. Right, I'm not going to put that cover back again. I think press it once. Yes, now we got it. Um, we are about to boot into OD mode. When you come come to this um screen where you got the warning, customers can cause critical uh, blah 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 blah. Yes, and um. The most importantly, it didn't say you will increase your binary count. But I have to clarify right here that flashing this won't install your binary count because this is not uh, flashing an OS, it's not flashing a kernel. It won't increase the um, custom binary count. So we're going to press volume up. So we enter the um, Odin mode. Yes, custom binary. Dot five counts I've tried a few times and it is still staying at five counts so now um, connect the USB cable to the phone and if um, the is installing driver just let it finish do not continue if you have problems installing driver right so what you need now is Odin 185 you can also download at the link below Just run the Odin 
and you get this uh, Android that underscore SLP and if it's stated at 0 dot com 6 in a yellow box yes it is connected so what you need to do now is click PDA and browse for the files under the SGS2 SBSI and flash me first and you got the SGS2 current power LFS LFS and make sure repartitions and flash does not check auto reboot F reset time is turned on and now we'll start and you'll take a couple seconds and it's done. Wait, okay, let me show you. And now it's actually, and it actually says that logo.jpg draw failed. Yes, because we find it, it, it it's actually easier to um, <coughs> remove the logo.jpg the uh, current uh, original logo.jpg. It's easier for that to uh, so that you can actually flash a new one into it. So we're going to reboot system now if the CWM base recovery is here. So what you need, need what you need now is the files right here and you still get this logo.jpg draw field. Well I'm actually still looking way to um change this um boot logo so if you have any uh, suggestions recommendations so you can um, let me know or I PM me PMing me or just comment below well, I'll just let everything um, load up load up first especially the media scanner and the widgets and stuff and um, oh, it's still media scanner is still running Depinalization. We are going to disconnect it right now. Make yeah, scanning completed. Oh, it's really completed. So now we are going to settings under applications and development. You must check the USB debugging turn. You must check the USB debugging and yes, turn on USB, USB debugging. And now we are going to plug in this. Um, phone to the computer and you say USB connected and you can tr put it aside so now there is a file named SGS2 static PS installer this run that is a MS-DOS file and I'm going to show you how to do it so uh, first of before that make sure you have the logo.jpg right here in the full in the folder which is same as the um, same as the SGS2 static BS installer. So the logo will um, the first the logo right here is a standard Google um, icon. If you want to get yours from the internet, yes you can may do so by googling anything that you want and the size for Samsung Galaxy S2 is 480 by 800 and you can google there are a lot of icons on the web so you can try them out or if you want to um, do one create one yourself you are welcome to do so but remember the rules 480 by 800 480 is width and 800 is a height and it, you need to be saved in JPEG format and it's less than 100 KBs. So now I'm going to flash this logo Tron which I've done um, earlier. <coughs> and I'm going to just um, remove this uh, logo to um, just change it to something different. So remember if you want to do one you must you must be in JPEG format and master the logo just like that so now I'm going to bring in bring up this uh, command prompt uh, which I've just launched just now the application well welcome to Samsung Galaxy yes, has to start the boot screen installer power created by bright you can tweet me please make sure you have read the readme file and have the logo jpeg ready most importantly USB debugging is turned on we have this turned on just now so press any key Continue. Well, so I will now check and install BusyBox. <coughs> yes, 
because if, if you don't have BusyBox installer, where you install one your phone, but if you got already you installed fill already access, yes, it is available, right? It, your BusyBox is already available. For those who don't have this, unlock your phone, and there's a BusyBox installer application where you go in and um, yes, allow super users looking for BusyBox. BusyBox, I get the system data. Ah yes, status ready. Full is rooted with more than one copy of BusyBox. All right, so BusyBox installed. So press any key to continue. Yes, it will, and the setup will do everything <coughs> for you. Study boot screen has been replaced. Yes, your new study boot screen will not exit. And make sure you share this with your friends and uh, follow me on Twitter. Um for more updates and um, stuff. So I'm going to show you your new, my new uh, study book screen. So I'm just going to power off the, uh, I'm going to hard reset it. Might take a while. Yes, you see, it's nice. Mesh 480 by 800, fits perfectly. Don't care any, um, Images as long uh, even the colors are so shiny. Yes, it will actually show it Yeah, you got that So that's how to install the uh, study boot screen. So um, I'll see you in the next video Goodbye